Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to start a new series of tutorials on Odulus 4. If you are interested in seeing more videos and tutorials, please do leave a comment. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Um, this series of tutorials is not going to be a control by control explanation because Odulus 4 is a, a modular app and you can build lots of different things similar to uh, my rack and others. So I'm going to go through a number of examples starting from very simple things and hopefully that will help you to get started and then to progress in creating more sophisticated um, synths. Okay, so um, I just launched Odulus 4 Let's click on create a document and let's uh, select empty patch. Now you need to use your fingers, two fingers to zoom in and zoom out. So you can do pinch in and pinch out. So remember that if you click somewhere, it will say add, click on add, and then you get presented with a library and you can search through the library. So let's start with a simple example so that you can uh, um, quickly get some sound out from Odulus 4. So let's type keyboard, like so. Now let's select the first one, touch one octave keyboard, like so. And as you can see, it has uh, created this module, uh, this keyboard module. And you can click on the different keys. You have one octave as a, um, as a, a signal out, gate, and also Y modulation up and down. You can also select the drag or not, and then you can shift up and down. So for example, you can shift like that. You can see is lowering down the octave. Okay, let's um, pinch in, let's zoom out a bit. Let's click add, and let's add a VCO. Voltage control, uh, voltage control oscillator. So let's um, pick up, why not, uh, add this one, the simple one, which is very simple, right? And let's connect the output of one octave to this uh, octave input here on the VCO, okay? Right, next, what we want to do is we want to create uh, um, an ADSR. So we're going to click again on the screen, select Add, and um, let's select ADSR, which then the four attack decay sustain release. And let's select that analog one like so. And the reason we want to have an ADSR is because we want to control how the sounds go up, down, if it is sustained, etc., etc. So we're going to connect the gate to the gate here input of the ADSR. And now if you click on the keys of the keyboard, you can see that there is signal going out and entering the analog ADSR. Of course, we do still don't have any sounds because we have not connected uh, um, out the output to the VCO. But I don't want to create uh, to connect the output straight away to the uh, VCO, VCO because if I was to do that, I would not be able to control the amplitude uh, um, of the VCO and then replicate it when, for example, a sound is decaying down to zero or if it is sustained, etc., etc. So in order to do that, I need to add a VCA. So let's search for VCA and let's add the standard one. So this one allows me to control the amplitude. So what I need to connect now is the output of the VCO to the VCA, right? So that the audio is going into the VCA uh, where the amplitude is controlled, like that is why it says A here. And then I take the output of the analog to effectively modulate the input of the VSA. VCA, sorry. Right, in doing so, right, so what I'm going to have is when I click on a, on a key, a gate signal is sent to the analog ADSR, which will read the configuration for the attack, the case sustain and release, and then will modulate up and down the amplitude on the VCA, which will, um, will uh, elevate or decay um, or sustain, et cetera, et cetera, or change the attack of the sound uh, uh, level, which is coming from the V. CO. And the pitch or frequency of the VCO is controlled by the signal here coming out from the keyboard. So for each key, we'll change the frequency, which will go through this uh, uh, signal here. 
So what I need to do next is using two fingers, moving and zooming out a little bit, I need to add an output. So let's search for output, like so, and uh, let's add, why not, an audio output meter. Now I need to, con to connect the output of the VCA to the left and right channel of the output, like so. Now, if everything is okay, now I'm going to the keyboard and press some keys. Voila. Now let's uh, move the sustain down to zero. You see, it is not being sustained. Let's remove the, or uh, decrease the um, release and also bit the decay. So it decays faster, right? Now let's go up here. We can change the, um, waveform so this one is so right so we can change that up like so triangle or we can continue like so for going for square for which you can change the pulse modulation here too low uh, is normally what in this case what is good to do is to connect the y modulation here output to the modulation input here of the vco and now as you when you click and hold, if you move up and down, you modulate the pulse width. Nice. And you can see here, the parameter PW is changing. Okay, let's go up. We can go for sine. Again, you can change the different parameters here. You can see you can fold that. Like so and noise in this case you have a low pass filter here for the y modulation of course you can say i want sustain in this case you can move up and down to change the low pass filter frequency Okay, so hopefully um, this tutorial um, is straightforward enough, particularly for people which never used uh, uh, Odulus, uh, which is now in its uh, fourth edition. So it is simple enough for you to get started. As you can see, it is very, very easy to create a synth. In this case, we have a keyboard. We have uh, the oscillator here, which is generated the sounds. We have uh, a voltage control amplitude here, which is controlled by the ADSR. So we can uh, uh, simulate the attack decay sustained release of any synth, and then all connected properly to go to the output. And then we have a nice meter output there. Really nice. And this configuration, it sounds like a bass. Really nice. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Hopefully you found this uh, tutorial useful. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.